if they had gotten you off the bench and put you in as quarterback, Joe, who knows? Something might have happened. You know, but it wasn't meant to be. Joe, how in the hell did you get Camille? Um, when you take your shirt off, it looks like two Greek men are stapled to your back and stapled to your chest. It's not a sweater. It's two Greek men. Fully Greek, fiendish men, Stephanopoulos and Acropolis, whatever their names are. But you have to keep a girl like that happy. You have to say yes to her because if not, she'll, uh, she'll leave you. Let's be honest. I can't believe she hasn't yet. You're still the hairiest he would be. You're still the hairiest person in your household, including the two dogs. So that's good. You've got that going for you. The white guys that Dave Chappelle makes fun of, that's you. Huh, hey, I'm, I'm Joseph from accounting. <laughs> First of all, because I'm very, very proud to say that I've never seen Joe happier in the past six months. It's been amazing. It's been life-changing. And I'm proud to say that I introduced him to the love of his life. A lot of people don't know this, but I was the one who told Joe about Twitter. Pete and I were living together for just like a week. And then, and then that's when Joe moved in. And I thought it was like so weird that Pete uh, re-carpeted the uh, upstairs bathroom. Like mine and Joe's bathroom. I'm like, th there was tile in there, Pete. Why did you re- Oh, no, wait, okay, I got it, because Joe moved in, and now it's carpeted. So, chamomile is really great, and, uh... Did you call her chamomile? Oh, sorry, Camille, sorry. For some reason, I'm, I'm not used to it, because Joe is, he's only, up until now, he's only dated, like, household spices. Because he just kind of went to a slow jog, and then just kind of, you know, just kind of the shuffle mummy walk that he has, when he has his old man slippers, and he just woke up on a Saturday at 4 p.m. He, uh... Always washes his hands after going to the bathroom, but he never uses soap, from what I, from what I can tell. And he mouth breathes out his phlegm. Uh, he doesn't raise the toilet seat to pee, um, but for some reason he doesn't lower the toilet seat to poo. For some reason, Joe only microwaves things with lettuce and tomatoes. Do you look forward to throwing up? Because it seems like you're always looking for an excuse. I, I don't know. It, have you been stealing my laundry detergent? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was you. Like all of a sudden I go in here today, I'm like, why in the heck is this empty? I am not washing stuff that much. I was gonna replace it. <laughs> and there are piles of fingernail and toenail clippings. Oh. I am not lying right now. There is no exaggeration here. Like, all along the side of the wall. Like, you had to have been holding this, like, clipping those things for, like, months. I live there for 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> and so I asked him, like, Joe, what the heck are you doing with this? Like, this is so nasty. And he's like, oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, what I was waiting for is for one day when, when Clint, like, really pissed me off, I was going to wait till like, at nighttime, and I was going to take all of those and like sprinkle them all over his, his bed and up on his like <laughs> up on his mustache where up on his upper lip there and I was just waiting for a time when he was like really gonna piss me off and do this. I was like Is that true? Maybe you could get her <laughs> and, and it would grow <laughs> or something. Like Pete, you've become the newest member of the post to Joe for a month or two. Um, and, and Camille, this is more warning to you. Make sure he unpacks his boxes right away. Otherwise he's, otherwise he's gonna be just waiting for a room to open up with John in about two months. But your Joe was always looking to fly and I think that might be why he shaved those wings into his back. <laughs> Which there's gotta be a picture somewhere, but Joe I'm gonna give you a bit better advice than that. Wings won't work. You need to shave like a 747 or a space shuttle, something like that. Something that's really going to help you fly because those wings aren't getting you very far. But he bought another piece of jewelry for her. Yeah. She breaks up with Joe and goes and pawns the jewelry. Doesn't even give it back to him, dude. How much was that? How much was this? It was like 60 or 80 bucks, dude. I mean, that's gas for a month. You're mostly roasting. 
Joe's ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just this happened to him. This is the kind of he chose to date him. You know, he chose, chose to date Valentine's. these people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, was that? Was on Valentine's Day. and it was on Valentine's oh. Day. Oh. Oh. Were you sleeping in the same small bed with another guy when there was another open bed in that room? I slept on the couch. No, 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 Oh, I slept with Jeff. <laughs> and for those of you don't know what a unicorn is, it's a mythical creature that can't be caught. And Joe tried to catch his. He actually asked his out on a date. And uh, says, somehow yeah. his girlfriend in Idaho found out about this date. <laughs> and it didn't go well with either one. <laughs> one time, one Sunday afternoon, Joe was hungry, going through the fridge, found some hot dogs, cooked them up, ate them. <laughs> you know, we all do this. Guys. Like, what am I going to eat? Right then we got the mass text, the Sunday afternoon text, it's like, there's a gourmet dinner put on by our, our chef friend Brad Hyman at Jason Meyer's house. Fajitas. Sure. <laughs> I don't remember. Joe remembers what it was. So we go over there and it was really good food. I mean, it was like gourmet, pristine. Joe was full from hot dogs. His solution, go to the bathroom, puke them up, and then come out. Oh! <laughs> I, I, remember, I think I remember that, dude. Makes sense to him. <laughs> Joe thinks that a guy can go willy-nilly to the hoop no matter what, and just, it doesn't no, matter if he Joe thinks gut. it's no. a freaking safety violation. <laughs> <laughs> just run under <laughs> somebody and fall over or whatever. So they're past the basket. The guy just goes in the stairs there. You barely did it. You barely did it. We have fought over this for years. <laughs> it's lazy. Charges are lazy. And uh, these guys come up to the three of them, and they put their arms around these guys, and they say, hey, you, swearing at you guys or something, and one of them hits Jason in the face. Anyway, so you guys go home, and you guys are wondering what the hell just happened. These guys just came and punched you in the face in the middle of the mall, and uh, anyway... Joe knew what had happened. Uh, he flipped him off. <laughs> hey, Joe goes over to Jason's house and says, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, that bloody nose is my fault. I flipped those guys off before they punched us. <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know, they were looking at us weird. <laughs> uh, I got a retainer, I had a fake tooth on it. And I remember coming into the house one day, in his apartment one day, shortly afterwards, and noticed it was in his... Him shoe. <laughs> he was taking a nap on the couch, and uh, it's just a place where he kept his <laughs> Joe's got a couple little sisters. I don't recall which one it was, but one of them came over and said, Joe, it's time to get up. And he decked her in the face. <laughs> if he's driving, he takes four lefts. He's probably going to throw up. Uh, so uh, I heard about this, and the fair was coming to town, so I thought I'd bet him that if he... Um, if you've got to throw up three times, I'll pay for your Chinese food dinner beforehand, but you have to throw up three times. If you don't, he pays me back for the food. Is that how it went? Yeah, and you pay for both the rides. And I paid for the rides. Yeah. So we get to the fair, I think you guys went on the Gravitron, and then the zipper. You guys all, can you picture the zipper? Uh, I'm yeah. checking the It goes around and around. Yeah, the zipper. Uh, yeah, so Joe gets on. I think I wrote it. I don't usually write rides. I think I wrote it. So uh, I don't know if Chad knew, Chad Otley again knew that <laughs> Joe got sick pretty easily, but he ended up in the cage with Joe. <laughs> so we went around and around, and I got pretty sick, and I got off. I remember standing there with Raleigh, waiting for Joe to get off, wondering if he'd already gotten off and would miss the scene, and Joe waddles off. And he's got throw up from his crotch <laughs> up his shirt. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was sick. And, uh, and Chad Holly goes, he threw up five. That was well worth my money. Uh, thanks, guys. It was the worst bachelor party ever.